Uh, example four is rather easy. Um, so the first one, A, it says we have a wire of circular cross section. Okay, radius R, can it be anything else? And there is a uniform charge density, a uniform current I flowing down this wire. And it says calculate J vector. Okay, so we can do the method where we take a small um, area perpendicular to the flow, which is whatever here, and we can integrate across that. Well, actually, let's do it this way. So um, we have uh, j vector, j vector, j vector is equal to um, the current flowing times the area perpendicular, right? And the area perpendicular is just i over 2 pi, oh, pi r squared, pi r squared, pi r not squared, pi r round, pi r squared. Okay, and that is a little bit of a mess, but that's the answer. Um, this one's really easy because it's uniform. This one is not. Okay, and B. So now we have I varies. Uh, oh, so the current density in this wire is proportional to the distance from the axis. So J vector is equal to K times some constant K times the distance away from the center. So at the center, there's no current flow, and the further we go, there is more. And so we want to find the total current. Okay, so uh, we must integrate. Uh, using this little relation, we have j vector is equal to the infinitesimal i vector divided by the area perpendicular. So um, the dA perpendicular, because we're going to do, um, well, circular or cylindrical or spherical, doesn't matter, dr d theta, r d r d theta. So we have i, the total i, is equal to well, the integral of the i vector, i vector, which is equal to, well, i doesn't change direction, so it's kind of pointless to do that, um, is equal to uh, j, the a perpendicular, the integral of that across the surface. So we have, well, j is kr, r dr, d theta. Theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, so we have 2 pi from the theta part. We have a k that can come out, and then we have integral r squared dr uh, from 0 to r. So that's a rather easy integral to solve. Uh, that would be r cubed over 3. So r cubed over 3 minus 0. Okay, so we get 2 pi k r cubed all over 3. That's the total current flowing through that um, through that uh, wire. That was kind of easy. One more section and we'll be done.